Hello Youtubers, my name is Splexo013 and welcome to part 8 of my Extreme World Edit tutorial. This time we'll be talking about biomes and everything you can do with biomes using World Edit. As you can see over here, you, uh, col the color of leaves and grass changes changes in every biome. So this would be the regular forest biome, this would be a jungle biome, this would be a swamp biome, and this would be a des desert biome. And I can show you that right now by going into F3. This is the forest, this is jungle, this is swampland, and this is hell. Ooh, it isn't a desert, it's even hell. As you can see, there are color differences and World Edit can ma is uh, very easy because you can use these color differences in your buildings so for instance if you w would want very green leaves in your house then you could make it into a jungle biome or what if you want dark leaves you could change it into a swampland biome so I will teach you how to do that simply select a region for instance, this region over here is now jungle. I will select the region that it is in. It, you simply have to select columns because this command will affect all columns. So we have nine blocks selected and now we can do slash slash set biome to uh, the biome you want. For example, desert. And now it says biome change to desert. If I will go into F3 over here, it will say uh, still say jungle, and as you can see, it will still look like jungle. How can you fix this? It's very easy. Just do one simple relog, and there we go. If I go to, into F3, it will say it's a desert, there, it, and it looks just like this one over here. So that's. Uh, the slash set biome command for it to work you have to reload uh, or relog there's also a, diff a command that you can use to check which biome you're in that w is uh, let's stand in this desert biome we just generated and we will do slash biome info that will tell us that the certain biome we are now or we have selected because we still have the selection over here is a desert if we do um, slash biome info minus p which stands for player then it will tell you the uh, biome the player is standing in which would be forest for this one and hell for this one that's that command okay the next command is the uh, slash la is the slash slash regen command for example we have oh no wait let me first cover the slash slash overlay command and I don't want it to be nighttime okay the slash slash overlay command what this does is it uh, lay puts one layer of blocks on your current selection so I selected these blocks on the grounds over here and let's say I want some desert, but I want to lay uh, lay blocks over a house, o over the land. I will do, simply do slash slash overlay, and then block ID or the name of the block, which would be sand for example. So we turn it into sand. What I like to use this for is, let's say I have this uh, normal house over here. And I want to add a nice roof to it. I simply select the entire region that the uh, roof is in. And let's say I want to make my roof out of red wool. Slash slash overlay. And then the color of red wool, which is 35 colon 14. And there we go. We remove these uh, blocks that aided us in uh, selecting the region. And now we have a nice roof made out of red wool simply by using one command that's the overlay command and the next command is the forest gen command this will generate a forest in a certain selected area or in the radius around you so let's say I select this area and do slash slash forest gen 
It's with one single slash. And there we go. Oh no, wait, sorry, I, I said that wrong. It's in a radius around you. So if I stand over here and I do slash slash forest gen 5, it will generate a forest around me with a 5 block radius. If I do 50, it will be a lot bigger. And it will generate a forest just like normal Minecraft would. And you also can undo this command if you generated a little bit too much trees. But this is not a, a, a real uh, forest biome, this is a plains biome. So we want to remove trees or unnecessary objects such as houses. I will use my house for this example. We will. I am talking about the slash slash regen command. We will first make sure that my house is entirely encased by our selection. And then we want to regen this biome as it was before the house was built. So that would be slash slash regen. Now it will regen the entire uh, area that we selected. And as you can see it's normal. You can do this with any building or with griefing, whatever, you can use it to fix a lot of problems and make it look very natural. Okay, so the next command is the slash pumpkins command. Slash pumpkins will create an area full of pumpkins around you with a radius. That radius was, I think, a little bit too small, so let's make it 10. There we go. Now we have created the world edit exclusive pumpkin biome. Don't you like it? Little tree stumps and a lot of pumpkins. They are all facing the same way, which I think is kind of kind of disappointing. But still, it's a very very nice biome. You can generate wherever you want. Okay, and the next command is the slash slash snow command. Let's say you're in a forest and you want to make it look snowy over here. We will simply do slash slash snow and a radius. Let's make it 20. And now we're in the snow biome. It puts snow everywhere. So that's pretty nice. It will also turn water into ice. I will show you this. Snow 20. And there we go. The water has now turned into ice. And the next thing is how to undo this. You can simply do slash slash undo, but you can also de-snow or thaw the snowy areas. That would be slash slash thaw and then and again a radius. I will make this quite big to get rid of all of the snow I just generated. It will return water or it will turn ice into water and remove any snow from any object around you. Now we have the slash slash move command. Let's say we have a very rough uh, edged mountain. I see one over there. Why don't we use that one? It's very rough. It's naturally generated, but you want it to be smooth and climbable. So we make sure we select it. And then we can do the slash slash smooth command. And there we go, it smoothed it out a little bit. We can smooth it out some more. And there we go. Now it's a lot smoother. You can also do this with your own generations that you generated by, let's say, using the brush uh, commands. And one final uh, thing is, we have some dirt blocks over here. And if this area is pretty big, it's we it would be kind of a lot of work to fix it and change every block of dirt in grass. We have a command for that. It's slash slash green and then a radius around you. And now the dirt blocks turn into regular grass blocks and the gla uh, blocks behind, uh, below it did not change as you can see. If I do it again, that block we have over there will change but that won't, won't because it's not regular dirt. And then we have two uh, remaining commands. One is um, you when you will need tools for this, just like we did in our brushes uh, video. It's uh, uh, it, because it's commands you bind to a tool. So slash tree, for instance. 
the tree tool is now bind to my iron pickaxe. If I click, oh wait, sorry, right click, it will generate a tree. And another one. And this is not just one tree, it's different trees. And it also can tell you where a tree cannot grow. So, there we go, that's the tree command. So, let's say you have someone chopping some wood on your server, but leaving uh, floating trees behind. You don't like those. You want to get rid of them, but chopping them all down is so annoying. Well, that it has something for that. The slash delete tree command. You can simply bind the floating tree remover to your diamond pickaxe or whatever tool you want to use, except for the wooden axe since that all is already one. Simply right click this tree and it, since it's floating it will be removed. And if you click a regular tree, well, world well, is very smart and knows that's not a floating tree, so you cannot remove it. As soon as I make the trees float, I can remove them simply by right clicking. And that's all um, that you need to know about biomes and world edit. So you can change biomes, you can overlay anything, you can uh, create biomes that's not that are not even regular in Minecraft, like the pumpkins biome, or you can make snow. So uh, I hope you uh, have something with you. You can use these commands that you just learned a lot. And uh, I hope to see you on episode nine of the Extreme World Edit tutorial. Bye bye.